the now 50-year-old Clean Water Act created a regulatory framework for point sources of pollution to be permitted to discharge up to a certain amount depending on the situation. Your thesis is that the strategy of legalizing a benchmark amount of pollution will always cause us to come up short of the stated goal of the Clean Water Act. I was hoping you could tell me, just to start, you know, what is that stated goal? In the Clean Water Act itself, there actually is a stated goal to have zero pollution discharges to our waterways by 1985. And then it went on to structure the law, just as you said, in a way where um, those who would like to discharge pollution or damage wetlands have to go to the right agency to get the right permit in order to manage how much pollution they're allowed to discharge into the environment and how they, in fact, undertake that discharge. So it's all about legalizing pollution through reviews and permitting. You know, I live in Illinois and we have this pilot project at Illinois Central College where they're trying to meet, you know, zero percent discharge, but it's for a non-point source agriculture. So um, they're combining all these different methods like wetlands, bioreactors, cover crops, um, and they're getting really close. So but, you know, that's almost like a proof of concept. It's not like a mandate. How can we prevent it? How can we avoid it? And if that is your ultimate goal, then just as you characterize, you will strive for and find many options and opportunities and technologies and use of nature that helps you actually get there or maybe almost get there. And in, in, in fact, non-point sources of pollution, right, that pollution that washes off the landscape, that is one of the big problems with the Clean Water Act at the federal level is it didn't, it didn't appropriately address that very significant contributor to um, contamination of our waterways. And in fact, that's why for many waterways, non-point sources of pollution are in fact the biggest problem. Thank you, Maya. Uh, your second edition of the Green Amendment is available now uh, at Amazon, at bookstores everywhere. So appreciate you joining me. Thanks for helping to spread the message.